Hi, today I would like to show you how you can easily update any layout and in fact entirely change it to match your website niche and your website branding. In other words, what if you like a specific layout such as this one that I have open at the moment? It's a really great looking layout for a craftsman services. But what if you simply don't need a website for the craftsman services, but for example for baking and recipes, like this one perhaps? In this video I want to show you how you can easily turn this into this. And thanks to new DV feature this is super easy to do. And without any further ado, let's get started. Need to mention also that this particular layout for Craftsman services is the part of Pegasus bundle and it's a premium content. However, if you don't own Pegasus bundle and you don't want to purchase it, uh, you can still watch the video and see how a uh, new DV feature works and use that knowledge to customize any other layouts, perhaps a free layout that you uh, downloaded earlier. The video is going to be separated into a few sections. First, we are going to load our layout onto the page and then we are going to be customizing it. I'm going to try to cover as many things as possible in a short amount of time, however, customizing the layout and fine-tuning the page uh, might take much more time than I'm going to spare in this video. Goal of this video is only to show you how you are supposed to do it and what the new fe new DV feature uh, brought, not to actually do all the things, otherwise the video would take too long and it would be hard to watch. First we want to load this layout on our page and then we are going to be customizing it. So go to the page where you want this layout loaded and click load layout button. Here make sure to select Dividend on Demand tab. If you don't have this plugin installed or if you don't know what Dividend on Demand is, it's the plugin you can get from our website for free. Uh, it's a really great plugin that speeds up the process of loading the layouts. It makes it really quick and easy. When you install it, you're going to see this and here you can use the filter section that you see on your left to easily find the layout you're just looking for. So if you want to load the Craftsman layout, you can type in the Craftsman in the search box and you can see that it immediately pops up uh, on your right. And all you have to do is to click the load button. You don't need to import anything or to add any custom code. You should just click load button and in a moment you are going to see the layout uh, laid out on the page. And there we go. Now let's update this page and make sure that everything looks like as in the Craftsman demo page. Checking, alright, looking good. Uh, what we also want to do is to get rid of this header and the footer, this default header and the footer. Uh, you can do that by going to page attributes and selecting blank page here. Now let's update once again and let's reload once again and there we go. Now uh, the fan starts. Now we want to update this layout to match this. So as you can see the structure is the same but we want to update all the fonts, images, buttons, uh, colors and anything else. So let's start with the first section and let's start with the background. What we want to do first is to enable Visual Builder. And now with the Visual Builder enabled, go to Section Settings and uh, you want to toggle Background here. To change the image, click on the background image and uh, go to Upload Files. Click Select Files. And I have already exported all the images from our Photoshop file. I didn't want to show you how to export the images because the video is going to take too long anyways. I didn't want to make it uh, really really long so I already exported the images. And once you uh, upload the image, as you can see it is immediately 
updated on the page and that's the great advantage of using the visual builder now you can save these changes and next thing we want to do is to change this title text to update it hover over it and go to settings we want to change this text to say we bake now you want to go to design tab and actually let's update this text here too this subtitle uh, I'm just going to copy this and paste it here there we go now let's customize how this text look like uh, select design tab and first toggle title text you want to make the font family play fair there we go you want to make it bold uh, make it italic and disable uh, uppercase option also you want to make it white that's it for the title and for the body text or this subtitle text here you want to make it white let's save now the buttons we want to make this one white with a transparent background go to module settings then we want to go to design tab toggle button button text color should be white and the border should be white as well let's see uh, on the hover we can make it for example pink like this one this pink red color uh, let's do that now so button hover text should be uh, white again and button background color should be this one as well as the button border color so I just pasted this uh, hex of this color here let's save that and there we go looks good and make the other button look like this one on the hover I think that should look good once again go to design tab toggle button button background color should be a solid one we can remove this gradient there we go perhaps leave or not let's make the border color uh, the same color too and on hover we can button hover text let's see button background color that can stay the same button border color let's update that one two and we can save now this looks good what else uh, we want to change the color of this text here too once again hover over it go to settings and here we want to go to design tab toggle texts and choose light let's save this for the social media icons we need to use some CSS I'm going to open developer tools and I want to click inspect elements and when I click on this I can see that the color of this icon is set using CSS in Pegasus headers CSS file and I want to copy this only I don't want to change the core file I don't want to edit Pegasus headers CSS file because if you do so all your custom changes are going to be uh, deleted after each plugin update so all you want to do is to copy the CSS and paste it in your page settings you can do that uh, here if you go to advanced custom CSS and then paste it here of course make sure to update the color but let's also add a body before this CSS block as you can see uh, without this uh, icons are still dark if we add this body text it turns white uh, this is a CSS priori priority rule you can add any class or ID before the block to make sure that it is going to overwrite the default CSS we could also for example add let's see page container there we go or any ID or the class of some parent element of this block uh, most easy one is to add the body and you should be good now you can save and that's it for this uh, section scrolling down uh, section 2 we obviously want to change 
this text here in black and also this image on the right. Let's first start with text. Uh, let's just copy this. As you've seen earlier, uh, go to settings, paste it. Uh, go to design tab. We want to make this body text play fair There we go. We want to make it italic bold and We want to make it 28 pixels Let's save also. Let's change this text under it uh, Copy once again paste we don't need to change any style about this text here and uh, to change the image once again just click on it actually go to module settings and then click on the image and you want to upload the file uh, let's choose this one there we go and moving on and at this point the real fun part starts here we have this text and we want to match the look, the style of that text to match this text here and also this button to match uh, the style of this button here and the new great DV feature allows us to do that really quick and easy we can go to module settings go to design tab and if you right click on any of these titles you can copy the style so in this case we want to copy body text style and if, if you uh, go to this module settings design tab you can right click on the body text and paste and as you can see it, it is immediately uh, change the style to match the other one we can do the same for the button copy button styles if you go to button settings designed and you can uh, right click on the button to copy the styles scroll back down to other button right click on it and you can paste the button styles as you can see it uh, changed the background and everything but also it has this icon so we want to perhaps uh, get rid of that go to button and let's make show button icon to no now we can <coughs> copy this button uh, once again as well uh, let's go to module settings button right click copy button styles now we can paste this uh, across the whole website and paste it everything everywhere there we have a button here too do we have any other button seems no now we can turn this text uh, play fair as well now we can't copy this style here because this is body text and this is a title so let's perhaps just make it um, play fair there we go about italic uh, and let's say crafted with love let's see how that is supposed to read baked with love of course let's update that here uh, baked with love there we go what else also we want to change these three icons here uh, and the text too we want to say this one to read 100% vegan and we want to say this one organic for example and the third one guilt free sounds good guilt free and if you go to module settings and of course we want to what we want to do is to change how a single text looks like and then we can copy and paste it for the other two one other two items so we want to make this one let's see that's let's change that title text I believe change it to playfair italic uh, bold and what we can do now is to right click on this and copy title text styles now we can go here and paste title text same is for this one there we go uh, you should already know how to update icon images you want to uh, 
uh, go to module settings, go to image and icon, then click on the image and upload the new one. Let's quickly move on. Uh, here we have this section. Let's see what we could update here. Uh, let's update quickly the background image. You know how to do that already as well. Let's choose this one. Upload. And there we go. We also want to update this text here. So once again, we want to go to module settings and you can go to uh, this particular uh, slide settings to update the actual text. So go to settings here and then design tab and you can go to title uh, settings here. You can uh, make it italic and play fair or you can just copy and paste some other uh, title settings that you perhaps have on the page, uh, perhaps this one and only make it white after that. Uh, let's see what we have. Once again we want to update the uh, fonts. We want to make this title uh, the same style as this one. Oh. So let's copy uh, this title options here, copy title settings and let's paste it here. Paste title text or actually no, maybe perhaps this is uh, body text. Let's uh, copy the body text from here. And if you paste it down there, let's see, there we go. But also it looks small, we want to make it look not look, we want to make it bigger. So go to design tab. Here we want to text a bit bigger. For example, 50 pixels. Ah, let's just type it manually or oh, this works. Okay, and here we want to update these titles here too. So once again, you can copy uh, any title from anywhere on the page and paste it here then just adjust the size or something else. That is pretty much it I wanted to show you. Uh, now you know how it's easy to copy and paste the style across the page uh, and not only for the same type of the modules but you can also share some attributes between different modules such when we uh, use the background color of the button to paste it as the section background or similar. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you uh, learned something new and that you will enjoy the new great DV feature. Thanks for watching.